Hello friends. My name is Alyssa and I'm the Science Program Manager at Boston Children's Museum. Now I don't know what it's like where you are, but where I am today, it is really hot. I'm pretty sure it's at least 95 degrees outside, maybe even more. And when it's hot like that, one of the things that I really enjoy to cool off is a slushy. Do you like slushies? They are tasty, but I'm pretty sure they're just made of like sugar and coloring. And I think we can use science to make a better kind of slushy. Here's the things you'll need to make your slushy. Some kind of juice, whatever you like is fine. Whatever flavor, any combination, you choose. Kosher salt. A lot of recipes for this sort of thing call for rock salt, but rock salt can be hard to find and kosher salt will work just fine. A big bowl and a container that will fit inside the bowl. a spatula or a spoon, and some ice. And then when your slushy is ready, you'll want a glass to pour it into and a straw to drink it with. If you have a smoothie straw, that might make it a little easier, but I have mine with just a regular straw and a spoon, and that works fine. Let's get started. Fill your bowl with ice, and then nest your container into the ice so that the ice comes all the way up the sides of the bowl. Then pour juice into your container. Cover your container with its lid or with some plastic wrap. Then sprinkle kosher salt all around to cover the ice. Remove the lid and then wait. You should notice ice forming on the sides of your container. Use your spatula or spoon to scrape the ice away from the sides and bottom of your container. Then wait another 30 minutes. Then, you guessed it, do it again. While we're waiting, Let's talk about what's going on here. After all, we did say that we'd be using science to make our slushies. The ice and salt are, of course, cold, and it melts in what we call an endothermic reaction. Endo means in, and thermic means heat. That means that the ice and salt are pulling heat in from somewhere else in order to melt and they're pulling it in from the juice. Now that doesn't mean that the juice is hot, but it is warmer than the ice. As the heat leaves the juice, the juice begins to freeze. In fact, if you didn't stir it and just let it sit, you would just get a block of juicy ice. But by stirring it, you're breaking up the ice crystals as they form to get a thick, drinkable, slushy mixture instead. By this time, your juice should be getting pretty thick with ice crystals and should look, well, slushy. Keep using a spatula or a spoon to scrape the ice off the sides and the bottom. You may have to do this more continuously than you have been, otherwise you'll just get an ice cube. When your juice looks like the perfect slushy consistency, you're done. Pour it into a glass and get ready to enjoy your drink. Well, that took a long time, but I think it's going to be worth it. Oh, this is better than any slushy you're going to get at a convenience store. And 
You can make it yourself with science. I'll tell you, it is very hot outside today, and this is the perfect drink. Well, I hope you enjoyed making homemade slushies with me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check us out on social media and subscribe to us on YouTube. Just press the big red button. I'll see you next time.